STM Assist, software to design site-directed mutagenesis primers, introducing silent restriction sites. Site-directed mutagenesis, SDM, is an indispensable tool for generating mutants in biological structure function studies. The method is based on PCR, using modified primers that introduce the required mutation directly into the plasmid-based gene. Following amplification, Template DNA can be selectively digested using the restriction enzyme DPN1. This process, however, is often inefficient, resulting in the recovery of both mutated and unmutated clones when the DPN1 digested PCR is transformed into E. coli to isolate individual constructs. Screening these constructs using sequencing requires money and time. This drawback can be overcome by enabling an easy distinction between mutated and unmutated clones. In addition to the desired mutation, one could include an additional mutation, a silent one that causes no amino acid change, but introduces a restriction site. Primer design software does indeed exist, but there is no one single program available that takes into account all the desired features until now. SDM Assist is a standalone application which features SDM primer design in just a few clicks. It allows the user to choose primers with a unique restriction site identity, allowing for highly efficient identification of mutated clones by a simple restriction digest. Additionally, suggested primer pairs are scored based on factors such as TM, GC content, 5' prime, 3' prime stability and secondary structure. In this short video tutorial, we will guide you step by step through a full workload of designing a mutated primer pair. The opening display panel is split into five trays, including a tray for displaying the input sequence, a target site tray for displaying a short stretch of sequence in which a mutation is being introduced, and a tray for the choice of amino acids for the mutagenesis below it. Also included is a useful reference tool at the bottom, which logs the sequence of events and provides helpful tips as you use the program. You will see the RE list tray on the right contains commonly used restriction enzymes that can be selected for insertion in the primer through silent mutation. The default is set so all enzymes are selected. Reducing the number of restriction enzymes will naturally decrease the chances of finding silent mutations that introduce restriction sites. However, the function might still be useful for researchers on a limited budget for restriction enzymes. To begin, drag and drop a DNA sequence in the correct reading frame onto the tube as a gene bank, faster or text file. Alternatively, left clicking on the epi in the top right hand corner acts as a control V or paste command. SDM Assist will automatically translate the DNA into a sequence of amino acids and indicate their position in the input sequence tray. Note the gene statistics will be listed in the log tray at the bottom. You can change between base pairs and amino acids by clicking the button AA or BP. To view the entire sequence, you can scroll by clicking on the up and down arrows on the right hand side. To begin the next stage of the process, simply drag and drop the mutant amino acid into the desired position within the sequence. If you would like to choose a specific codon for the mutant amino acid, Right click on the amino acid and SDM assist will show all the available codons for use in the SDM primer design. SDM assist will extract a small stretch of sequence from either side of the mutated amino acid. The original sequence will appear in the target site tray. The mutated sequence will appear in the mutated site tray with the mutated amino acid highlighted in red. Clicking left or right of that region within the parent molecule will extend the sequence. At this point additional mutations can be introduced, but keep in mind this will create longer primers which may work less efficiently. If you are happy with the inclusion of all restriction enzymes, you can click on Mutagenize now. However, if you do not wish to have SDM Assist consider all the restriction enzymes during primer design, you can simply deselect the unwanted enzymes with a left click. Additionally, if you want a very few to be considered, 
press clear and reselect your preferred restriction enzymes. If you press clear, STM Assist will still use all enzymes available if you do not make a further selection. A right click on any of the enzyme tabs displays the palindromic sequence recognised by the restriction enzyme. Once you're happy with the selection, click the Mutagenize button. This will open a new window which presents an evaluation of mutated sequences. The mutated sequences highlight potential restriction sites that were present or new ones that can be introduced. Restriction sites or silent mutations are marked in green within the sequence, mutations that alter the code of amino acid in red. You'll now need to select one of these sequences on which the primer pair will be based. Clicking the Primerize button will present a list of 21 forward and reverse primers each. SDM Assist scores these primers on a number of factors including TM, BP changes and GC. An ideal primer would score 100 points. Clicking on the columns allows alphabetical and or numerical sorting for ease of use. We recommend using the primer pair with the highest scores. The complete output list can also be exported as an Excel file or text file. By selecting either of these two export buttons, a file is saved to the desktop and automatically opened. Alternatively, you can also copy the primer using the Copy tab. At this point, SDM Assist resets the opening display. Another mutation can now be introduced or a new sequence added to the EPI for another round of primer design. We hope that SDM Assist will enable you to design easier and more reliable site-directed mutagenesis primers in the future. If you'd like to provide feedback or have suggestions about how this program could suit your needs further, we would welcome your contribution via email.